here's my trouble with quotas. If I am asked to step into a role and there is a quota attached for the number of women that occupy that role, that group of roles, um, board, it makes me feel like I'm only there because of the fact that I meet the description of that quota. Something that's never sat right with me. Um, I have brothers. I um, realise that a large part of my career has been uh, just playing the game with the boys and trying to beat them at their own game, right? Super competitive, highly motivated, all of those things. Um, and I guess with a little bit of age comes that self-reflection around, should we even be playing this game? Um, but quotas I've always struggled with. And I've always struggled because I felt like in some way that devalued my work or my role or my merit. Um, so this one's a really fun one. We're going to get into meritocracy throughout this month. But um, but yeah, it, quotas have always just, just not sat right with me. And I remember having this discussion with um, Ryan, a dear friend who was the CEO of ThoughtWorks Australia at the time. I think it was the first time I'd met him. And we, we bowled into this conversation. We took it head on. Uh, Ryan was explaining that at that time ThoughtWorks had a policy around 50-50 in terms of their gender balance between men and women in their organisation. And so they were measuring this metric. Um, and But like side context, um, largely an IT-related consulting company, right? So um, in a largely male-dominated area. And, um, and so, yeah, so they had this, this policy around 50-50 for men and women. And um, particularly, if and when they came out of balance, so ThoughtWorks would go through this process of hiring continually all the time, um, and if and when they came out of balance from a window of tolerance around that sort of 50-50 margin, they would actively stop hiring men until that balance was brought back into place, until there were enough women hired to, to fill that balance, um, or equally that you know people leave and turn over all those sorts of things but they had a policy of 50 50 and they actively managed to that policy and it may have been a little less than diplomatic and um, Ryan thankfully gave me a whole heap of grace but <laughs> but this whole conversation around quotas um, has always just it's driven me nuts and I continue to wrestle with it today um, and I think probably the closest to a conversation that I've ever got about understanding and, and really wanting quotas has been this idea of, um, there's a good friend of mine who, who talked to me about the, this idea that sometimes when the system is so stacked in one direction, it takes this active moment of we need to put a rule in place, we need to, you know, we need to put something in place that actively shifts the balance in the opposite direction to get us over that hurdle. Um, and this idea that people need a little bit of a nudge to actually get there on their own. That if we were to allow it to go and we were allow it, we were to allow people to just figure these things out in their own time, it takes way too much time. And in 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 that window there is a whole bunch of suffering that's perpetuated whilst we still have a system that is not working um, and not working well for more all. Um, and so Trevor had really got to me with that. He was probably the closest to, um, to me ever accepting, <laughs> accepting this fully, internalising it. Um, and so we had, we had this conversation about do quotas have, this, have their place? Um, and, and what is that place for quotas? And I think for me it really comes back to that ongoing struggle that we actually talked about in a, a post last month that I made around this idea of how much coercion, in that context, it was how much coercion do we use to implement a collaborative system, um, which is a question that I ask myself continually. Uh, and I think this is this is along similar lines, right? How much effort and, sh and shifting of balance do we do knowing that we are potentially swinging in another direction um, or, you know, Worse, that we're actually reinforcing these stereotypes. I think that was that was the bit that sat badly with me for this quota around women's on, women on boards was that you're actively reinforcing on some level you're actively reinforcing the stereotype that I can't get a board position myself as a woman, and that hurts. That feels yuck, and I don't like it. So um, I think it goes back to a similar. It's a it's a similar question, right? Around 
how much do we actively put in place to counter the systemic bias, the unconscious bias, the gaps that we know exist in our system today, that with the inequalities and the unfairness that we know is in our system today. How much do we put in place to actively tip that balance? Um, and it's not, it's not an answer that I've got for you today. Um, sorry, I should break that to you. But the, this, how do, how do we start to come into place? And I think it's an ongoing conversation. So my challenge for you today is to really go back and think about that around where are the biases and the gaps in your current system, in your current organization, your community of organizations that deliver for your customers? Where are those imbalances today? Know them. And have somebody else take a look who maybe is from a different perspective, who might see something a little differently to you too, right? Start to get to those unconscious biases, those unconscious systemic things that are going on. Because awareness is always the first step. And so how do we, A, get visibility of that? And then B, how much, how much action, what action, where, how much push at a company, at a team, at a systemic, at a governmental level, are we prepared to put in place to try and counter those balances so that we can get over those hurdles? And I think ultimately, we would all agree that the goal is that we're all better humans and we all are able to make decisions that are more accessible and, um, and more, more free for all. We probably need a little bit of help in the meantime. So I'm going to continue to wrestle with quotas um, myself. And I would encourage you to step into the conversation about wrestling with how do we start to tear down these walls? How do we start to take out these imbalances? Um, and I've got a couple of little posts that I'm going to pop up over the next week or two for you with a few thought prompters. Um, they're not my own work, so deliberately sharing from somebody who has a a voice that is different to my own. Um, but yeah, I'd really encourage you to step into this conversation. What is it for you? What's the, what's that What's that thing that that feels uncomfortable for you? Is it quotas? Um, is it something else? And how are you going to step into that conversation? How are you going to identify those gaps? How are you going to step into dismantling some of those systemic conditions that we have in our business that mean that we are favoring a current way of working rather than bringing in community and making our, um, our businesses, our products, our services, our world more accessible for all, um, more welcoming for all, um, and more inclusive and bringing, bringing people together in a way that is um, valuable and productive. So that's your homework this week. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you're having an 